Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. This is the early morning prayer meeting, a ministry of the New Providence Real Office Seventh-day Adventist Church located here in Nassau, Bahamas. The early morning prayer meeting is a time for fellowship, for prayer, for sharing, and for inspiration from the word. I'm your host, Delta Keeble Dawkins, supported by our pastor, Pastor Alvarico Moss, our producer, Sister Marisa Stubbs, and technical support from Elder Ramon Forbes and Brother Keon Thompson. We are indeed happy to have you here this morning. And as I say, whether you're from the east, from the west, from the north, or from the south, locally here in Nassau, Bahamas, from the family of islands, or wherever you are from the overseas, we are happy to have you here this morning. In the house this morning is one who I'm very proud of, somebody who I've seen grown up in the Newport Seventh-day Adventist Church, uh, what I call a third generation of Seventh-day Adventists, a solid man in the world. As I watched him grow up in the church, I have no doubt that he would become a minister of the gospel. So we want to welcome Pastor Leighton Hines all the way from the what's now Christiana district in Manchester, Jamaica. But before he comes this morning, I have a word for you. You see, in the light of mass shooting, coronavirus and its multiplied variant, you know, we were celebrating that vaccine is here, vaccine is here. But now we are seeing a new wave of lockdown and austerity measures and our hearts are paining because we have seen our savings all gone and the prospect of a job openings seems dim. Mm -hmm. But what? My word for you this morning is taken from St. John chapter 14, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So my word for you this morning, 
is that you can still have joy in spite of what we see happening around us, in spite of the challenges, because my God has it in control. Can I sing for you this morning? Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Let's keep that hope fired up. And so this morning, we're going to have two prayers as we get going. And I want Sister Mortimer and Sister Alicia to pray that we will see, take hold of that hope this morning as we launch out on our evangelistic campaign beginning on this Sabbath. Take hold of hope because that's the only thing we can hold on to because that hope is sure. Let's take a time for prayer. Good morning. Good morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come. Lord, nothing in our hands we bring with simply to your cross we claim. Lord, we have this hope that burning in our heart, hope in the coming of your son. God, as we are about to embark on this evangelist to trust God, as we are about to do your work, Father God, your words say the harvest is plentiful, but the reapers and the workers are few. But God, with you, there's always the majority. God, you know right now the situation around the world look dim, Father God, look grim. Mm -hmm. But God, with you and the rest of us, you smile at the storm. God, help us to go in, out in the, in the world, in the whole world, Lord Jesus, seeking those souls that are crying out for you. Souls, Lord Jesus, who are in need of you. Lord, before we go, Lord, I ask you, Lord, to purchase with his up and prepare us, Father God. Prepare us to be empty vessels, be filled with, by you before we go out, Father God. Create us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us, Father God. That when we go, Father God, that we will be a light and a beacon, Father God. That people will see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Oh God, I pray, Lord, as we go, as this evangelist, trust, Father God. Let not just the words say, I will go, but let the hearts and the mind. And the workers and the workers go and said, oh, we will go. Lord, that we will go out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come. Father God, I pray that we just not to physically go, Father God, but Lord, that we will pray, Lord Jesus, pray for our prayer list and pray, Lord, that the persons that we speak to, Father God, that they will hear our voice, not our voice, Father God. And Lord, the preachers that you put to, Lord, to proclaim your word, Father God, that you will speak through them, Father God, and for them, Father God, that the words that they say, Father God, will be passing to the hearts of the hearers. Oh God, I pray that you continue to help us, Father God. Lord, in this dark and evil days, Father God, to Jesus, Father God, come now, I dwell. Lord, this prayer group we have, Lord, help us, Lord, that we who in this prayer group will be the first to say we will go, Father God. And Lord, that other people will see that we coming, Father God, that we going, and more will want to go. And now, Lord, we have a body for harvest, Father God. Lord, I pray you show up and show up like you've never done before. We thank you, Lord. We stand in your words, Lord Jesus. You said it. When we come to you, Lord Jesus, you will answer, Father God. And we pray for Pentecostal experience, Father God, that the, that the harvest not just be bodyful, but the reapers will be bodyful. We thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. O oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Eternal and everlasting Father God, we praise you this morning because we know that it is in you that we live, that we breathe, O oh God, that we have our very being. And so, Lord, with grateful hearts, Lord, we bow before your presence, O oh God, giving you thanks, Lord, for life, for health, for strength, for your protection throughout the course of the night. Lord, we know that you didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. And so, Lord, we say thank you. We praise you, O oh God, for those things that you would have protected us from, O oh God, that we know nothing about. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we ask in a special way right now that you will be with the various crusades, O oh God, that you will be with the various speakers. And in a special way, we lift up Elder Dawkins and the others, O oh God, 
that as they proclaim your word, O oh God, that they will not fall on deaf ears. Mm -hmm. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will help the messages to be clear, O oh God, and that you, O oh God, that you will be with the various individuals, O oh God, as they listen, O oh God. Help them all to know, God, that you are coming soon and that you are coming for ready and prepared persons. Oh God, you told us in your word that we are to worry about nothing, oh God, but by, but by prayer and supplications, oh God, that we are to make our requests known to you. And so, oh Lord, we know that your coming is soon and there are many still who need to be saved in your kingdom. And so, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will soften, oh God, those stony hearts, oh God, and that you will help them, Lord, to be receptive of your word. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus right now, even for the members, oh God, and those of us who are on this prayer line this morning, oh God, you know our individual needs, oh God. I pray, oh God, just like our faces are different, oh God, that you will supply for us all those things that we are in need of according to your riches, riches in glory. Lord, in the precious name of Jesus, oh God, just like your word declares, oh God, that you know all the stars by name, oh God, you care about us so much, God, that you even know the numbers of our hairs on our bodies. And so, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you who know all things, oh God, that you will do for us what only you one can do. Lord, those who may be sick and afflicted, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will help them to know that you are the great physician and indeed there is nothing you can not do. Lord Abraham once asked, is there anything too hard for God? And Lord, we know that with you, all things are possible. Lord, someone is in need of a job right now, oh God. Someone do not know where the next meal is coming from, oh God. But Lord, you who own a cattle on a thousand hills, oh God, we present those persons to you, oh God, and we ask, oh God, that you will provide for them. Lord, some mothers, oh God, may be praying for their children right now, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will just be there for them, oh God. Touch the children's hearts, oh God. And Lord, many children have to walk to school this morning, oh God. Some may be on the bus. I pray, oh Lord, that you will protect them, oh God, and that you will keep them, oh Lord, in the hollow of your hand, dear yes. Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus right now that as we go throughout this service now, that your Holy Spirit will go before us, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will continue to fill each and every one of us with your Holy Spirit. Forgive us, oh God, where we would have failed you, oh God. And help us, oh God, to know that your coming is soon, oh God. Help us to do those things that are right and that are pleasing in your sight. Lord, we want to be saved, oh God, in your kingdom. And so, oh God, if there is anything, oh God, that we are doing, oh God, that is unlike you there, Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that you will reveal it to us, oh God. Yeah. Um, God, I pray that you will save us. Save us, oh God. Save our families, oh God. Help us all to be ready. Help us, oh God, to prove faithful until the end, oh God, so that we will be in that number that John said he saw that no man could number. Mm -hmm. Save us, oh God. Save us, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, once again for what you're doing, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for what you would have done for us in the past, oh God. God, thank you, oh God, for what we know that you will continue to do for us there, Jesus. Lord, help us to have a good day today in you, oh God. Help us to let our light shine wherever we may go so that others may want to know you, oh God. Help us, Lord, not to be stumbling blocks. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much. And just before our nugget this morning, we'll have special music by Sister Bastian. Don't know about tomorrow. 
Mercy. <laughs> it's, 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 it's good to be here with you. Amen. Amen. I, I, I must say good morning to the brethren of the, the New Providence mm -hmm. Seventh Adventist right. Church and uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Moss. Uh, mm -hmm. I am happy to be here 
want to thank you, Elder Dawkins, for your invitation. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to let the brethren know that Elder Dawkins has been one of my role model ever since I was a little lad. And so uh, I want to affirm you, Elder, and thank you for the good work that you have been doing in, uh, in, in Bahamas and for the inspiration you've given to us as young people while we're here in, in Jamaica. I understand that my minutes is short, and so I'll get right into the word. Father in heaven, we pray that you'll open our hearts, our minds, so that your words will indeed become life, and that life will be with liberty and equity as we now seek your face. Inspire your preacher, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to this morning share a word with the brethren in the New Providence Church uh, from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41, and I will begin reading from verse 8. It's a promise that God made to, 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 uh, to, to Jacob. But you, O Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen you, you, your descendants, you, descendant of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corner, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This morning, if we can recall who Jacob was. Jacob was the son of Isaac, the twin brother of Esau. The Bible said at their birth, they were fighting. As a matter of fact, Jacob held on to the heel of his brother Esau, and God says there will be a conflict between them. And Jacob went on to steal his brother's birthright. He did something wrong. And so for many years since that, Jacob was hiding. He was hiding from the embarrassment that happened after he did that. He was disappointed uh, that he did not, he deceived his father. And he was also a hiding because his brother Esau was angry with him. And the Bible said that Jacob ran away and he experienced some tough times because of the choices or the choice he made in the past. But the Bible also said that while Jacob was in hiding, he found peace with God. The Bible tells us, beloved friends, in the book of Genesis, uh, that Jacob wrestled with God at Jabba. And Jacob was there holding on. And he declared, I will not let go until you bless me. And in that struggle, in that moment, he resolved in his heart that the blessing that he seek was right here in front of him. So he will not let go. The Bible says that God blessed him and changed his name from Jacob to Israel. And the promise that God made to his grandfather, Abraham, was actually being fulfilled through him. But after that, the Bible said that Abraham went on to have a rough time. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when he needed a wife, he, his, his, his wife of choice, beloved friends, he was deceived into thinking that the woman that he would have gotten as his wife from his uncle Laban, the lady that he did not like, that was the one he worked seven years for. <laughs> 
and he had to go another seven years to actually get the one that he chose. And it, 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 it so happened that even in the midst of this struggle and frustration, his uncle was cheating him from his wages. And so many persons will look at Jacob and declare, oh yes, he is the father of many nations. He was special. He was plucked out from among men. And so the struggles that he faced are not similar to what we are going through because Jacob was different and we often feel as if whatever he or those individuals in the Bible face beloved friends uh, is not in connection with us because they are different mm -hmm. I want to let you know beloved friends uh, that God created all human beings differently even though we not cre God created all human beings equally that's the word mm -hmm. even though we are created equally mm -hmm. how we apply ourselves to life will determine our worth and our value in this world mm -hmm. I want to let you know beloved friends Jacob even though he made mistakes and he went through a rough time God did not give up on him neither mm -hmm. did he deny the power of God because he prayed and he asked God to bless him and mm -hmm. God indeed blessed him and changed his entire identity and look at Jacob through him beloved friends nations people mm -hmm. of all shape and sizes came together mm -hmm. as descendants of Jacob Mm -hmm. I want to let you know this morning, my friends, whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. whatever you're facing today, the struggles and the difficulties mm -hmm. that sometimes catches you in, 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 in wonderland, worry mm -hmm. about what will come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I will say to you what God said to Jacob, fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. Mm -hmm. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. The many, the problems that we, and, and, and you have to, in assessing your situation, you have to be careful that you don't underrate yourself. Sure. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful that you don't underrate yourself because there are times in which your blessing is quite abundant. Mm -hmm. But because your mindset and your, your ambitions may be in the wrong place, you underrate yourself thinking mm -hmm. that I'm not being blessed. So mm -hmm. you have to first ensure that you're not underrating yourself and ensure that what you have around you you see the goodness in it. And the problem many persons face today is that most of the fears that we have are created internally in our Have mercy. Minds. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. one will tell you that fear is not real. Mm -hmm. Who told you that tomorrow you're going to die? It's a concept that you have in your head. Mm. The Bible says, fear thou not. Why God does not want you to fear? Because you see, beloved friends, uh, when you fear, you cannot love. Mm. The Bible says, perfect love casts out all fear. When you are afraid, you cannot love. And the challenge, the, 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 the reality of it is that there are many persons who come to church today, not because of, fe not because of love, but because of fear. The mm. idea of this great, awesome, powerful God striking you and sending you to eternal damnation keeps you in church. <laughs> But if the reality of hell mm -hmm. is taken away, many of us would not be in church today. Mm -hmm. But beloved friends, we cannot serve God out of fear. 
We have to serve God from a heart of love. Uh, there's a song mm -hmm. that says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to acknowledge God for the good God that he is, for mm -hmm. the loving kindness he has shown towards you, for his tender mercies, beloved friends, and for mm -hmm. the way that he has strengthened you and nourished you, mm -hmm. protected you, God mm -hmm. says, do not fear because mm -hmm. he is your God. He is on your side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is on your side. Not only does God says, do not fear. Mm -hmm. He says, I will strengthen you. That's right. That's right. Because you see, beloved friends, in this life, sometimes even the strong will become weak. I remember uh, when the prophet Elijah was on Mount Carmel and he prayed to God and fire came down from heaven and and burnt up the sacrifices and the and the and the and the prophets of Baal and 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 and, and Jezebel said uh, I want his head on a plaque and and imagine this man who witnessed the power of God fire coming down from heaven Elijah ran away and begged God to take his life. He became so suicidal. God, kill me because I don't want Jezebel to kill me. Imagine that he saw the power of God in front of him and one woman threatened him and immediately he became fearful. God says, God knows that we're not immune to fear. He knows that we're not immune to weakness. But God says, in times of weakness, I will strengthen you. And so you're going through a tough times, tough time presently. COVID-19 is causing havoc across the world. Many persons are faced with joblessness. Many persons are faced with the loss of loved ones. So many fears, so many things to scare you, so many things to push you in a corner in which you feel like you need to hide from everything around you until it's over. But the challenge is, beloved friends, hiding will not solve your problem. The, 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 the greatest thing that you need to understand uh, that you have to face your reality. You've got to acknowledge what is happening around you and resolve in your heart that I will go through it with God. God says, fear thou not, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you in times of weakness. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. And there's something about God's right hand, my friend. The right hand suggests surety. The right hand suggests power and potency. I don't know about you in Bahamas, but as a child, when we would misbehave here in Jamaica, Sometimes our father, our parents would tell us, listen, man, don't let me give you my right hand. And from the mention of that, you know that you have to behave because once the right hand is coming, it's coming with force, it's coming in strength. The right hand can be a force of protection and it can also be a force of, of, of attack. It can be protective and it, has, it, it can also be one that comforts God's right hand, beloved friends. He says he will shelter us under his right hand. And so the right hand, beloved friends, will protect us from the enemies that will approach. The right hand will comfort us when we're going through grievances and difficult times. God's right hand, beloved friends, is with us. In some culture, you dare not shake with the left hand. You have to shake with the right hand because the right hand suggests truth. The right hand suggests sincerity. And the right hand, beloved friends, suggests authority. God says he will protect you with his right hand. Do not fear. The Bible says, beloved friends, in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 6 and verse 31. Uh, the Bible says in, 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 in Matthew chapter 6 and, and, and verse 31. 
Seek ye first, rather, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be given to you. The psalm says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Faith over fear. Faith over fear, my friends. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible for us to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. When you seek God, you cannot seek God in fear. You must come before him in confidence, knowing that the problems that you're facing is already solved in God. We have to have strong-willed as Christians. We have to have strong minds as Christians because in these days, my friends, it is sad, but it is quite possible that the weak will be left behind. It's quite sad, but it is possible that the weak will be left behind. You've got to know what you believe. You've got to know in whom you believe and trust God that he will see you through. Someone asked the question this morning, is there anything impossible with God? I said, no, the job, the income, the home, the family that you've been praying for, it is possible in Christ. Through faith, Abraham pleased God. Through faith, Sarah pleased God. Through faith, all the patriarchs and the prophets pleased God. God is asking you today, be faithful, be faithful, for in being faithful to me, I am pleased. For Abraham had faith in God, and God counted his faith as righteousness. Mm -hmm. God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we live a brave and courageous life, not in fear, but in love and faithfulness. God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor. I'm going to ask you to hang on because I'm going to ask you to pray for the saints here at, um, at the early morning prayer meeting. And um, But just uh, a word, I just want to say thanks. Give your greetings to your wife and, and your family as well. So we have some prayer requests here, and I'm just going to mention them while I'm just going to ask Pastor to to pray again for these. Um, B Pet is going to ask us to pray for our shoulder. And then um, this coming from Sabbath, um, Patrick is uh, asking us to pray for her family. And then uh, um, we've been asked to pray for um, Kenny Kemp and Tiffany Sweden you know, that God will bring them together. So um, so these are some prayer requests that we have. And I want to, to also remember us as we launch out on our evangelistic trust, beginning this Sabbath, looking forward for the support of everyone, looking forward for you to bring individual. And I'm going to ask you to take your prayer list out now as I ask Pastor just to just lift us up before God, that there will be a mighty moving of the Holy Spirit as we carry forth this work. So, Pastor, I'm giving you that opportunity just to pray for us. Amen. Pray on, my friends. Is human, is us speaking to God, accessing the throne room of God. And so we're going to pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for being such a good God to us. Mm -hmm. Lord, so many things happening around us will 
allows to feel confused, perplexed with the struggles and the issues that we have to face. And, 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 and as soon as uh, one is conquered, here comes another one rearing its ugly head. And so we live a never ending life of struggles and fights, wondering when we're going to get our breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But oh God, we pray that we will remember your promises, mm -hmm. that these things will not last forever. Mm -hmm. There are those, Lord, who have different prayer requests. I remember one in particular, a sister with his, her shoulder. Mm -hmm. Lord, we know that you are a God of healing, mm -hmm. for we have seen it, how you have uh, come through for others and heal them. And so, Lord, we put the sister's shoulder before you, mm -hmm. that you'll anoint it with your hands of holiness. Mm -hmm. That, Lord, you will fix whatever has gone wrong in her shoulder mm -hmm. and make it right. Oh God, we pray that you'll also give her a fresh healing spiritually, mm -hmm. and that she will speak about the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray for those other persons who have placed their requests. I don't know all, but Lord, you know. And so we commit them to you, Father, knowing full well that you are capable. It is possible, for there is nothing impossible with God. And so there are those, oh Lord, who are clinging to their prayer. Some have been praying for years. Uh -huh. Some have been praying for less than a year. But oh God, each prayer is as important as the other. And so we pray, oh God, that in your own will, in your own time that you will fulfill their requests before their faces. Mm -hmm. Oh God, we pray this morning that you will bring to light the fact that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Mm -hmm. So in tough times, we ought to cling to your hands and your promises because mm -hmm. indeed without you, we perish. We thank you, Lord, that even in the midst of calamity, in the midst of this crisis, you have speared us. You have kept us. And Lord, while our heart goes out to those who have lost their lives, we thank you, Lord, for those who you have kept safe, those who have survived this COVID-19. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray for your church, your providence, mm -hmm. that... And the Real Harvest mm -hmm. SDA Church, that Lord, you at this time will continue to fulfill your mission through them. Mm -hmm. That as they seek to reach and impact the youths and the, uh, the, the members of the church and the community, that they, O oh Lord, will be an effective force in your vineyard. We pray, God. Inspire the pastor and the crusade that is coming up. We pray, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, that you'll already send your angels before them to clear the booby traps and the minefields mm -hmm. that the enemy would have set up for them. We pray, O oh God, that today you will manifest your glory in their life through this program, that others mm -hmm. will come and see that you're a good God. Heal your people today. Remember their prayer, we pray, O oh God. And we pray that we'll be faithful to you because you have been faithful to us. Yes. We pray and ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And so we say, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. We say peace in your home, peace on your job, peace on the street, peace wherever you go. And remember, to share that Jesus is coming soon. Thank you very much this morning for joining with us. Um, I will make it up for you on Sun Sabbath morning when you will have your time to give your testimonies on your praise report. But in the meantime, please continue to pray, continue to invite others to come out to these meetings. 
And indeed, we serve a big, mighty, and wonderful God. Thank you very much, Pastor Heinz, and we'll be calling on you again. So God bless, all the best. You take care, everybody. You may now open your mic and give a shout out, as we say from the parking lot, as we move on this morning. God bless, thank you. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning.